praise the Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning, dear children of God. Let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of December 26th, hallelujah, on the third day of our prayer and fasting, together to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him, hallelujah, Father, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you. Last full morning, the Lord protected us. Let us lift our hand and thank Him, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last night for the good sleep he gave us. Let us thank him. Let us lift our hand and worship him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. With good health upon us this morning to be awake. On the Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity, let us thank Him. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This morning, wonderfully, our Lord, for leading us, for His grace, let us thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Father, your name this morning we lift it on high for all that you have done for us. Father, we tell you thank you. Father, we worship you. We praise you. Hallelujah. The psalmist is saying, and hallelujah, in Psalms 5, verse number 3 says, My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning. I will direct it to you and I will look up. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy, in fear of you. I will worship towards your holy temple. Verse number 8. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those who love your name be joyful in you. Words number 11, verse 12. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. What will the Lord do? The Lord will bless the righteous with favor. He will surround him as with a shield. Let us all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful morning, thank you. Last full morning, you protected us. You gave us good sleep last night. With good health, you woke us up. Thank you, Father. This morning, for victoriously. Amen. Hallelujah. For your tender mercies and kindness. Thank you. Father, we pray for all who are hearing this voice today. Father, in this third day of our prayer and fasting, everyone personally bless them. Father, bless their family. Bless the children you have given. Father, bless their workplace. Bless their body. Everywhere, Father, to be a blessing. All those who see them, that God is with them. That they will understand clearly the work of the Lord in the children's life for revealing it. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, all who are sick right now be healed. Father, you are the good physician for every kind of sickness. You who have the authority over heaven and earth, every bondage of sickness be broken, every bondage of curse be undone. Father, let your children be done from every financial bondage. Father, with every blessing for filling your children, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Those who are having a problem with the tooth, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Those who have got tooth pain, where there is swelling, those who are having great pain, right now, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every infection in the ear, in the name of Jesus Christ, be gone. Kidney stone, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Father, for the complete deliverance good health we thank you lord thank you father where they have pain let your hand perform in the name of jesus christ let the pain be completely gone father bless our today's meeting father for doing great things in the midst of us father we thank you hallelujah also father all who are standing with thy word all your people all oh, lord jesus you're ministering thy word to for thy kingdom lord jesus father bless them protect them and honor them we pray in all their needs let your grace be there father we give you all the glory you who died for us in the name of jesus christ we pray amen 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 let the lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning the lord has brought us to the third day of our prayer and fasting Pray strongly. Hallelujah. These days learn to rejoice in the Holy Spirit. Read the word of God. Sit closely in his presence. For you are moving 
into a greater realm of God's glory in the coming year and let the Lord bless you abundantly this morning. Today the Holy Spirit is speaking to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse number 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1. Be then as workers together with him also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. A very strong word of the Lord. Paul the Apostle is saying to the church, Hallelujah, you have received the grace of God. What is the meaning of grace? Unmerited favor, unearned favor. Or not what we receive because of something that we have done or ability or anything, but because God had mercy and grace upon us. His favor came on us. When we were not worthy, when we were not eligible, when the Lord had favor upon us, grace upon us, hallelujah, and that great work, the grace of God, is poured upon us. Paul the Apostle is saying, the grace that you have received, let it not be in vain, let it not be lost, let it not be without use. In Second Corinthians chapter 5, it talks about the new creation. It says over there in verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I am reading verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So we became new not because of anything that we did, but because of the grace of God. When we were in the pit of sin, you and me, by the grace of God, was redeemed and by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, we were saved. Hallelujah! We were saved by the grace of God, says in the book of Ephesians. We became a new creation by His grace. In that Adamic nature where we were tied up, He removed us from there, made us new creation through His precious blood and created us in His own image. And that grace of God, that is the grace of God, not anything of ours. And for His grace, tell Him thank you this morning. Hallelujah. The old is past. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Verse 21, he, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, meaning for us Jesus Christ was made as a sinner. Jesus had no sin, but we were filled with sin. And Jesus Christ, who had no sin, made him to carry our sin, became a sacrifice for you and for me. And his righteousness was transferred upon us. In the Old Testament, the sinful man used to come with an offering and the priest would lay his hand on the man and then on the lamb. And the sin of the man was transferred to that animal and that man used to be free. From all sin and the lamb or whatever was the animal brought the sacrifice was filled with sin. In that same manner, Jesus Christ, when he became a public sacrifice, when we believed in Jesus Christ, our sin was transferred to Jesus and the righteousness of Jesus Christ was transferred to us. And all this happened not because we did something but by the grace of God. Today I am righteous by His grace. I am blessed today by His grace. I am in good health today by His grace. I have received the Holy Spirit by His grace. I become a new creation by His grace. And the Apostle is saying, this grace, hallelujah, don't make it go in vain. The grace that we have received is great, very precious, greatly glorious. And we should not make that grace in vain. Don't make it without value. That grace, when it was poured upon us, Paul the Apostle is saying, This great treasure is not ours, that which is poured in this body. Hallelujah! The treasure of Jesus Christ is inside of us, and without making it go in vain, these days, to understand it, to get the revelation of it, that Christ, to understand the revelation of Him, the Holy Spirit is reminding us, Hallelujah! Like us, 
all the apostles also received the same grace he did not make it go in vain but he made it useful he understood the importance of it he understood the greatness of it and when he understood it was a great blessing for the church so this morning you who is hearing this voice to every child of god the grace that you have received don't make it go in vain but in every area of your life use this grace hallelujah don't make your righteousness go in vain the deliverance of sin don't make it go in vain that eternal life don't make it go in vain the holy spirit you have received don't make it go in vain that these days use it but don't make it go in vain hallelujah according to the grace that you have received stand for god live a supernatural life you are not called to live an ordinary life the grace of god did not come upon us to live an ordinary life but we have received the supernatural grace of god and we are called to live a supernatural life the holy spirit is reminding us be strong people worship the lord in spirit and in truth pray and meditate the word of god and lead a supernatural life and with these words let the lord bless you the holy spirit is reminding us the grace that you received don't make it go in vain and let the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ we will grow we will increase we will multiply and we will be great we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah